Welcome to Maine Public News Connect, original news stories from Maine Public Radio, airing weekly in Spanish, French, Portuguese, Somali, and English. I'm your host, Ari Snyder. Today is Friday, February 10th, and here are the week's top stories. Maine set a new record for drug overdose deaths again last year, as the synthetic opioid fentanyl continues to take a deadly toll in the state. According to unofficial figures released last week, 716 people died of drug overdoses last year. The powerful synthetic drug fentanyl or drugs like it were detected in 79% of the overdose overdose deaths last year, according to data compiled by the state. That highlights both the increased prevalence of the drug in Maine and its danger to users. Efforts to build more housing for new immigrants suffered a setback this week when the Portland City Council voted to postpone indefinitely a project that would have created 48 units of affordable housing. The city was considering providing funding to the local development group Avesta Housing to help purchase the property and make it available to asylum seekers. But Portland Mayor Kate Snyder said she was told by Avesta that it has not been able to secure enough funding to make the project feasible. At the same time, local governments and immigration advocates are struggling to find housing for asylum seekers, as funding for temporary emergency shelter in motels runs out this spring. Last week, about 50 people gathered at the University of Southern Maine in Portland to learn more about the women-led protests in Iran. The event featured a panel of three Iranian Americans who live in the Portland area, who discussed their relationships with Iran and how people here can help the protesters. Panelists said one thing that people in Maine can do is contact their elected leaders and ask that they hold the government, the Iranian government, accountable for violence against protesters. Massive protests have been taking place in Iran since a young woman died after being arrested and reportedly beaten by police in September. And lastly, a new exhibit at a history museum in Lewiston focuses on the intersection of immigration and race in central Maine. The new project features 10 oral history interviews with Black residents of Lewiston, including immigrants and people who were born in Maine. Professor Marcel Medford, who conducted the interviews, said one goal is to explore the diversity of Black identity and learn more about how people relate to their community. The exhibition is on display at Maine Mill, formerly known as Museum LA, until December. This has been Maine Public News Connect. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you next time. Maine Public News Connect partners with wonderful groups across Maine committed to providing access to important news and information for all. We'd especially like to recognize the Maine Immigrants' Rights Coalition, Presente Maine, the Congolese and Angolan communities of Maine, Amjambo Africa, Catholic Charities of Maine, the Greater Portland Immigrant Welcome Center, Portland Adult Education, the Portland Office of Economic Opportunity, Prosperity Maine, the Maine Health Access Foundation, and the Maine Humanities Council for their support and efforts. Maine Public News Connect is made possible by individual sponsors, businesses, and foundations from across Maine, and especially by Coastal Enterprises, Seaport Credit Union, Hannaford Supermarkets, IDEX, Ku and Patricia Ewan, Maine Health Access Foundation, Maine State Housing Authority, and the Sam L. Cohen Foundation. Thank you for your significant support. Maine Public News Connect is made possible by Ku and Patricia Ewan, committed to bridging cultural differences in our communities. Juntos. Ensemble. What a deal. Junto. Seaport Credit Union. Together. At Maine Housing, we know an affordable home is key. Our first home loan program offers Mainers low interest rates and down payment assistance on multi-unit properties. Learn more at mainhousing.org. Hannaford Supermarkets, celebrating the diversity of its employees, customers, and communities, and committed to fostering a welcoming environment. Together, they're greater than groceries. Learn more at Hannaford.com. If you would like to support this project, please contact Corey Morrissey at 207-232-0241.